Praise yeah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. New woman in Christ. Oh my God. Praise God. Yeah. She can see what she's believing for. Alright? You can feel it. Um, well, the hair are even mad. <laughs> We're family when you can You're right about not wear that. makeup. Just as long as my husband takes care of my wig, I'm okay. <laughs> Holy Ghost knocked her head right. <laughs> but I have been um, Oh, wow. Hadn't really talked to anyone. Every day as I wake up and I have big knots in my head. And I knew that it was the lymphatic system. Because all the spirit spoke it to me. And I could feel when it stop up and, and, and just somewhat by the power of the word that it began to open up. But literally when Pastor Steve laid hands on me, I could just feel the lymphatic system start to drain like a fountain. And I have huge knots. I woke up this morning with huge knots behind my ears and it pop out of my head. And I was just determined, no matter what, God you true to your word. And he said he sent his word to the healers. And the doctor's just a report, but he's the physician, he's the one that heals. And I'm just determined, no matter what, that he's my healer. And even, you know, that my moments, it's been a year I've been walking through this. And last year this time it started. And there was a night I told my husband, I said, I knew that night. If I would have gone to bed, I just wouldn't have woken up because I, the spirit of death had visited me. And I know the enemy is designed because he comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but we have a life by the power of the word. And I dreamt last night. It was my grandbaby, but in a dream, he, you know, Something happened. The Lord said, just prophesy to him. Just prophesy to him. Just prophesy. Life. And as I began to speak life, he started living again. And, and, and the Lord Holy Spirit spoke to me on the way here. He says, even though it was your baby, he said, it was you. <laughs> Where sometimes religion just, tradition, yeah. hurts, just stop you from living. But I know that I know that I know. <laughs> Pride, all that stuff is in us. That we, you know, we've been in church a long time and we just think we got it, but we don't have it. Amen. And pride stops us from coming to the altar because it should have been filled, not with those that are out there, with those who are in here who think we've got it all together. Amen. And every every opportunity, every moment is just another moment to receive another touch from Him. So I just honor God for your obedience. And for what he's doing through you. Not not you. For what's in you. Loose you from that spirit of bondage, being a victim, and cursing to the root of 